to our Sunday Home Connect Group services. We know that right now, with everything taking place, we are faced with quite a number of trials. But in James 1, 2-3, to it says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. We are extremely excited amidst the storm, just to see what God is going to do in our community. Just a few announcements to all the new visitors. Welcome, and we celebrate you, and we hope that you enjoy the service with us. Then we would also just like to give you a short update on the Chicago outreach that took place last week. We had two salvations and over 100 community members attending the service. We would love to encourage that as a family, we come together during a time of outreach. So watch this space for dates coming up so that you don't miss the next one. We'd also like to just encourage everybody to take precautionary levels, make sure elbow greeting, hand sanitize regular, and let's be safe. Heavenly Father, as we go into the Word now, we just want to thank you for being here today. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for not forsaking us. And thank you for going ahead of us, Father God. I pray that you will just prepare our hearts Prepare our minds, Father God, so that we can just experience the joy of you, Lord, because you say that the joy of the Lord is our strength. I thank you, Lord, that you will allow your strength to fill us up and that you will just give us a fresh anointing of your love and kindness. We praise you and we honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, family. What a great time and season that we are in at this moment and this morning. I am starting off with a series, Perseverance, Finishing Strong, and my topic this morning is on strong faith. I'd like to read us a portion of scripture this morning out of Joshua 1, verse 6 to 8, that says, Be strong and courageous, because you will lead these people to inherit the land I saw to their forefathers to give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Do not let this book of the Lord depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. What a great portion of scripture this morning to start off the series, Strong Faith. And I believe that as God commanded Joshua to be strong and courageous because a great task was ahead of him, Joshua had to take Moses' Moses' place and lead God's people into the promised land. I believe in this time that we are in, I want to encourage you to be strong and courageous. I want to encourage you to stand firm, to stand firm in the challenge that we are facing as a nation, as a people, as the world, we are bombarded with the coronavirus. And I believe this morning, God wants to stir faith. He wants to stir faith and he wants to encourage you and me to be strong and courageous as the task is ahead. The task that we have is to have faith, to have faith in these times of difficulties, to have faith and to stand strong because God wants you to know that he's the great I am. I'm just reminded about the about Ezekiel 37 when Ezekiel stood in the valley of dry bones. He actually was so much bombarded by the valley of dry bones that he forgot to have faith in the times of seeing the valley of dry bones. And then God started to speak to Ezekiel and he told Ezekiel, Ezekiel prophesied to these valley of dry bones that they may come alive. And I'm reminded about that as Ezekiel started to prophesy what God instructed him to do, faith started to arise. Faith started to arise. And I believe in this time that we are in, God wants us to have faith. God wants us to start having faith and believing that He is the great I am. No matter what the circumstance, no matter what the challenges, God wants me and you to have strong faith. And this morning I want to speak about three specific things. Um, the one thing is speak the word. God wants us to speak the word in the times that we are in at this moment. And Joshua 1 verse 8 says, Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. 
Do not let this book of the Lord depart from your mouth. I believe in this time that we are in as a family and as a nation, God wants us to get into his word. He wants us to speak his word. As Ezekiel prophesied to the Valley of Dry Bones, so God wants us to prophesy through his word, prophesy into the circumstances, prophesy the faith that he wants us to have. Like Joshua, we are to speak God's word and declare God's truth and hold on to his promises even in difficult situations. And so I believe that even in this time, God wants you and me to speak the word, to speak the word and allow the word, which is the truth, penetrate our hearts and our minds so that faith can arise. The second thing that God wants us to do in this time is to meditate on his word daily. Joshua 1 verse 8 says, meditate on it day and night. I don't, want to, I don't know about you family, but I believe in this time that we are in, we need to get into the word and we need to meditate in the word because meditating on the word, it allows faith to rise up. It allows faith to be stirred in our hearts. It allows faith to rise up in such a way that we will look beyond the circumstances. We will look beyond the challenges that we are facing. Even though Joshua was getting busy leading God's people, God asked him to prioritize his word and to meditate on it day and night. Like Joshua, we need to value and spend time in God's word, no matter how busy our schedules get. And I believe even in this time, our schedules is becoming lesser. So the word of God is awaiting us to meditate on it day and night. The third thing that God wants us to do is to obey the word. So that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you'll be prosperous and successful. Reading and speaking and meditating on God's word should lead to obedience. Success come as we obey God. So family, as we start the series of faith to persevere, I believe that God wants us to be strong in faith. And what is faith? Faith is a substance of evidence, something hopeful, which is unseen. May we in this time have faith in God. May we in this time allow God's word, which is the truth, penetrate our hearts, renew our minds, renew our hearts in such a way that faith will start to arise. Even in this time of coronavirus, may we not be consumed of the negativities, but let faith arise. And the only way for us to experience that faith for only for us to experience that strong faith this morning, God is calling us to speak the word. God is calling us to meditate on the word. God is also calling us to obey the word. And that allows faith to arise. As Ezekiel started to prophesy, the bones became alive. As he actually breathed over the valley of dry bones, those bones have have actually received that oxygen that they're supposed to receive. And so this morning, family, I believe that God is calling me and you to have strong faith. He's calling me and you to hold on to his word, to meditate on his word, and to speak his word. May the Lord bless you.